वक्रतुंडमकाय सूर्यकोटिशभप्रभ निर्विघ्न कुे देव सर्वकार्यु सर्वदा सरस्वती नमस्तुभ्यं वरदे कामिणी विद्यारंभम करश्यामि सिद्धिर्भवतु मे सदा गुरवे सर्वोका दशजे बबरोगिनाधे सर्विद्या दक्षिणामूर्त नम ईश्वर गुरुरात्मेति मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्योभवेहाय दक्षिणामूर्त नम सदाशिवसारंभा शंकराचार्यमध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा श्रुतिस्मृतिपुरा आलय करुणाल नमा भगवत्द शंकर लोकशंकर साक्षात्त दयानंद परिण तत्वान प्रशास्ता प्रणतस्म पर सहना सहनो भुनक्त सहवाहे तेजस्वीतमस्तमाशावे टुडे यू विल सी साधन पंचकम इंस्टेड ऑफ पंचदशी इज स्टॉप गैप अरेजमेंट We'll continue Panchadashi once we finish Sadhana Panchakam. The introduction to Sadhana Panchakam. Uh, I gave once uh, a long back. It's uh, I sent you the recording. You can see the introduction, the basic uh, topics, the definitions are covered, like the Purushartha, Pramanam. What is a Pramanam? Prama. Pramata and the classification of Veda into Karma Kanda and Jnana Kanda, Veda Purva and Vedanta, and what are the fundamental source of knowledge of Vedanta? There is Prastana Trey, Prakashena Stiyate. It has got Stana. उपनिषद भगवदीता उपनिषद श्रुति प्रस्थान भगवदगीता स्मृति प्रस्थान ब्रह्मसूत्र न्याय प्रस्थान दीज आर द मेन टेक्स्ट विच वन हेज टू स्टडी टू गेन द नॉलेज ऑफ द ट्रूथ 
generally a Vedanta student study all of this Brahma Sutra at the end. In between, we have a lot of other Granthas. So all these introductions have been given in the first class. You can see that when you have time. Now, there are other Granthas, other texts done by so many Acharyas of the tradition. They are they also important uh, <clears throat> text, important source of knowledge. The topics, the methods, the teachings of the Vedanta, the Jnana Kanda of the Veda are systematically presented in those texts. It is, they are called uh, Prakarna Granta, Vedanta Treatise, like what we are seeing, Vedanta Sara and Tattva Bodha. These are all independent works of the Acharyas in the tradition. Panchadeshi, they are known as Prakarna Granta. Shastraika Desha Sambandham, Shastra Karyantare Stitam. Agu Prakranam Nama Grantha Vedam Vipaschitaha. The tradition, uh, they say, what a Prakrana Grantha is. That is called a Prakrana Grantha Vipaschitaha. It is considered to be by the wise people Vipaschitaha. That uh, the Prakrana Grantha, which elaborates on a topic or many topics from the the main Shastra. And Shastra Karyantare Stitam, it has a different purpose than the Shastra. So Prakana Grantha presents a topic in a systematic way. Presents a topic, sometimes complex concepts it takes. There are, there are Siddhi Grantha, Siddhi Prakana Grantha. Siddhi Granthas are advanced Prakrana Grantha, like Advaita Siddhi, Naishkarma Siddhi. So they explain concepts that are very complex, but in an easy, understandable language. So I want to explain the terms and terminologies which are employed in the Shastra. The purpose is the same as that of the Shastra. By studying Prakrana Grantha also, one gain knowledge. So it has the same. As uh, Shankaracharya has said in the, the Gita, Samastha Vedhartha Shastra Sara Sangraha Bhutam Iyam Gita Shastram. So Gita Shastra. Gita is also Shastra. Smriti Prasthanam we say. Gita Shastram. How Bhagavan presents the, the entire the Veda. The entire Veda is presented. That's why it's Karma Yoga, Karma Yoga Shastra as well as Karma Vidya Shastra. Both. Entire Karma Kanda doesn't mean presence rituals. How the rituals should be performed? What attitude? That performing which one gets qualified to pursue Vedanta. So that is that is also, that is only text that Gita covers. May I elaborate you? That is why Bhagavad Pada says in the, the Gita, Samastha Vedartha Shastra Sangraha Bhutam. So therefore that, the Vedanta teaching that alone Bhagavad Pada Shakracharya presents in the form of uh, so many other Prakrana Granta. We have Prakrana Granthas of various sizes. Bhagavad Pada's works can, on Vedanta you can see in the form of five shlokas, eight shlokas, ten shlokas, hundred shlokas, even thousand also. There is a 
consisting of the, the number of shlokas so we have panchakam starting from gopina panchakam gopina vantaha khilavagya vantaha maya panchakam manisha panchakam sadhana panchakam panchakam kam means a group ashtakam shatkam saptakam navakam dashakam dash shloki we have dash shloki and shat shloki shat shloki is another beautiful prakana grantha we will see later shat shloki shat shloki and upadesha sagasri that is little advanced upadesha sagasri covers the views of the other darshana opponents the topic is discussed elaborately is like the manana grantha manana nidhyasara grantha and for all these granthas we will find there are commentaries there are commentaries on the prakana grantha and there are commentaries on the commentary prakana grantha may be a small one panchakam just a five a group of five shlokas but there are commentaries which runs page after pages so here we have sadhana panchakam one of the great composition which is attributed to adi shankara acharya it has beautiful five shlokas we will see this uh, prakrana grantha called sadhana panchakam as a many other names advaita panchakam why it is called advaita panchakam because the teaching of the of the panchakam is centered on advaita is centered on advaita it has another name upadesha panchakam because bhagavad pada gives upadesha that is upadesha panchakam sopana panchakam all refers to the same panchaka sopana sopana means a flight of steps S uh, steps a flight of steps the, the teaching teaching in the is in the the manner that following step by step one reaches the goal so this prakana grantha presents the sadhanam sadhanam sadhyate sadhana means sadhana means means what is the meaning of sadhanam sadhanam means means sadhyate anena iti sadhanam the means by which the goal the sadhya sadhya means goal is reached by whom by the sadaka sadhyate anena iti sadhanam and sadhyam the goal reached by the sadaka the, the seeker so sadaka sadhanena sid Sa sadhanena siddhim prapnoti siddhi is success siddha is the one who has accomplished siddha siddha purushaha is a accomplished person means gnani sityartha so therefore here we will find the sadhanam the means 
the means for achieving the, the goal sadhyam. Therefore, it is called sadhana panchakam. The one who employs the means which are given in the sadhana panchakam is called sadhaka. One who has achieved the goal for the purpose of life is siddhaha. The goal is called sadhya was accomplished is called Siddhaha. And success is called Siddhi. So here, in this Panchakam, the Acharya <clears throat> presents the teaching of the Veda and uh, he presents a lot of sadhanas. Sadhanas which are taught by the Veda. Sadhanas which are mentioned, sadhana, sadhanas which are mentioned in the, in the Veda for gaining the, the end, the sadhya, which is moksha. So that is a goal. In fact, moksha as a goal is to be discovered. So that also, here Bhashikara is Shankara Bhagavad presence. The sadhanas are prescribed keeping two goals in mind, the Acharya, presence, the Prakana Granta. One goal is as Swamiji says, the goal has to be discovered. The discovery of the goal is a goal. First, what we want to accomplish in life. That itself one has to find out, discover that. The goal has to be discovered. Purusharta, about which we discussed. Dharmartha Kama Purusharta. The nature of the goal, the reality of that has to be has to be has to be known. Is artha is sought for artha sake, kama for kama sake, or this for what what purpose? What is a goal? So therefore, discovery of the goal, what we want to gain in life. So this uh, panchakam gives the sadhanam to discover the goal, discover the. Discover the, the the goal. That is the the first sadhana for which the sadhanas are mentioned. So that therefore sadhana means the disciplines, disciplines, in the form of the the action. Of course, it is uh, the discipline is always always the actions which are. Actions with the attitude, not action alone, mere action alone. Mere action is to start with, the action and the attitude. Then what it is called a discipline. So the discipline in the, in the beginning, uh, the certain disciplines which when we follow, it helps to discover the, the goal. Discover the goal in life. Then the second thing is the means for accomplishing that goal. So the first goal is discovery of the goal itself. The second thing is the means to accomplish the goal. So therefore here, the, the, the Veda, the Veda, what Veda presents is presented, presented here, the form of the eight, eight, five shlokas. Veda presents the, this, a certain a beautiful scheme of life. To discover the goal, and the means to achieve the goal. The same thing by Shikara here, Pada here, presence. So therefore, this, uh, the Sadhana Panchikam is nothing but the teaching of the Veda. Therefore, it is not Bhagavad Pada presents something different from the Veda, different, presents something, uh, a teacher something different from what the Shastra teaches. So it is not the, it's, it's not something which is uh, concocted by the Shankara, Shankara Bhagavad Pada. It is uh, purely based on the scheme of, scheme of uh, life as uh, envisioned by the Veda, the Acharya presence. 
Now, what does this uh, sadhanam, sadhanam we say, what does this sadhanam do? Sadhanam, it connects, it connects, it bridges the gap, the gap between the sadhaka and the sadhya. Sadhaka and sadhya. The sadhaka who has a sense of inadequacy, the sadhaka is one who has a sense of lack, incompleteness, apurnatum, is not satisfied, atrupti, completely dissatisfied with himself. Therefore, therefore he seeks. He seeks things in life. He seeks people in life. So seeking for, seeking is for Freedom, freedom from, freedom from the sense of inadequacy. Freedom to get released from all kinds of notion. In fact, it is freedom from all kinds of notion that he discuss later. First, he seeks substantial things in life. When he finds himself still inadequate, when he understands it is all notional, therefore he wants to get released from all the notions. That is why moksha, much release, getting released, getting released from all the notional, all the the, the all the notions. That is called moksha. So freedom from all the notions. The bandha is notional, freedom is getting free from all the notions. The notions what one has about oneself. So therefore, sadhanam should be applied to achieve the sadhyam. That is, the sadhyam is freedom from all the notions to discover that I am the very meaning of freedom. I am ever free, I cannot be bound. Therefore, Shastra says, Shastra Pramanam says, you are already Purnaha, Purnamadaha, Purnamidam. As Atma, Atma is Purnam. You are limitless. But uh, I have the sense of limitation. But if I accept Shastra as a Pramanam, As Shastra says, then I must be complete. I must be Purnaha. For that, I have to know the Shastra. Shastra being a Pramanam, there must be first acceptance of the Shastra and then the Shastra must be studied. Why studied? Because I don't know that I am free. Ignorance is a problem. And the solution is Jnanam. And Shastra presents Jnanam. And Jnanam for that, the sadhana in the form of the sadhana which are present, which are presented by the Shastra, that is the form of uh, the gaining Jnanam for the removal of Ajnanam. So therefore, that sadhana is what we call our spiritual pursuit. What else is otherwise? Therefore, the desire to know the accomplished self, the pleased self, that is the is, that is a goal, and for which whatever the means are presented, the steps which have to be followed, they are the sadhana. So therefore, there is a, a desire. Desire is involved. So therefore, there is a pravirti, pravirti as well as nivirti. When we say mumukshu, mukti micha, there is a desire. Icha for, icha for freedom. Icha for wanting to be free. That is why the sadhaka is called a mumukshu. The desire, the desire is also can be of two types. The desire to get what I don't have. There is, for that also one, as pravritti, pravritti. 
or the desire to get rid of what one has because it is it troubles it, it is trouble it is uh, causes problem therefore what it get rid of this is one type of desire wanting to gain what i don't have the second type of desire is desire to get what i already have so that second category desire for that what is the means what is the distance between the sadhana and the sadhya ajnanam is a distance therefore the sadhana has to be jnanam so wanting to accomplish the accomplished for which jnanam alone is a sadhana this ajnanam is the karan that is a distance that alone sub keeps the sadhaka away from the, the sadhya therefore jnanam alone is a sadhanam for that the for that sadhanam jnana sadhanam jnanam is the ultimate sadhanam it doesn't mean one cannot one can immediately pursue the jnanam one needs preparedness one has to lead the life as prescribed by the, the veda therefore here bashika uh, shankaracharya here he presents sadhanam based on the vedic scheme of life vedic way of life the the design the life design presented by the shastra in the form of varna ashrama vyavastha varna ashrama vyavastha a system which uh, takes into account the the individual varna and ashrama varna ashrama vyavastha ashrama is stage of life you know varna is varna is not color varna it implies the mental disposition chatur varnyam maya srishtam guna karma vibhagasha so it is the mental constitution of the person disposition of the person so shastra divides the whole society into the four four uh, types of varna and individual life into four stages of four stages so four varna brahmana vaishya kshatriya and shudra so this division is purely based on the role of the person in keeping with his disposition the society is divided into four based on this for what purpose not for dividing the society not for causing confusion in the society not for causing any social disturbance it is meant for social harmony that is a purpose so for social harmony every everyone contribute to the society based on one's uh, mental configuration mental uh, disposition the, what the guna the, based on the guna there is a difference between the person we have to accept the difference difference is not a problem so therefore based on based on one's uh, mental condition the disposition one has to contribute the contribution is what is important so that is the vyavastha the varna vyavastha which is envisaged by the, the veda even though it has become different now but it is in some other form because the, the society is still is somewhat harmonious therefore not only the society all the society in all the society we will find this varna vyavastha therefore the aim of varna vyavastha is social harmony it's a beautiful thing which uh, we had we will appreciate we and understand the the intention of the shastra there are only three guna sattva rajas tamas the three guna they combination into four types of groups four types of people and varna vyavastha is based on this then we have ashrama vyavastha ashrama vyavastha is a way of life again which is presented by the shastra in keeping with the ashrama one stage of life 
one has to pass through all the four stages in life. Brahmacharya, Grastha, Vanaprastha and Sanyasa. Again, it is a, a beautiful uh, a design envisaged by the Shastram. This is meant for individual growth. So therefore, Shastram is, is committed is committed to the social growth and individual growth. It's so much compassion for the individual and in, individual growth constitutes the, the total growth of social the growth of the society. The individual has to grow, the society also grows. So for so social harmony and growth, Varna Vivastha. For individual growth, Ashrama Vivastha. So therefore, Shastra yields both the society as well as the individual. So Ashrama Vivastha also, even though again, like uh, Varna Vivastha, it has become different, but still it is followed. Though as not presented as uh, by the Veda, but it is still. We have four stages. We can divide our life into four. So here we, we will find the Acharya, if he emphasizes on Ashrama Vivastha. In fact, the very first shloka begins with the, the first shloka we will see, he presents the, the vivastha, ashrama vivastha, which constitutes to individual growth. Now, when it comes to individual growth, means disciplines are involved. One must follow the disciplines. The disciplines, irrespective of uh, the Ashtama Vivastha, one has to follow certain disciplines. And uh, disciplines, they are called Dharma, applicable to every everyone. So they are called Dharma, Samani Dharma. They are called Samani Dharma. Dharma meaning the discipline. Samani Dharma, Dharma meaning the disciplines, the actions. The actions, of course, are actions backed up by the attitude, therefore discipline, Samani Dharma, which one has to follow. The Samani Dharma, which is in the form of pravritti and nivritti, do's and don'ts, the language of Yoga Shastra, if you want to say, Yama and Yama, Vidhi Nishedha, Vidhi in the form of pravritti and Nishedha in the form of nivritti. So, Vidhi Nisheda, Satyam Vada, Dharmam Chara, Chara Vada, Shastra presents the Vidhi in the form of Lot, Ling, and Tavya, the command. Then one may ask, Atma Vare, Drashtavya, Shotya, there also Tavya is there. There it is not Vidhi, we have to understand. There it is not Vidhi, because it is Jnanam. In Jnanam there is no Vidhi. In Karma there is Vidhi. In disciplines there are Vidhi, do's and don'ts. Vidhi Nisheda, Makam Shastram. So, Vidhi, that Vidhi, that uh, the form of Pravritti and Nivritti, and Nisheda in the form of Nivritti. Pravritti means doing things, engaging in action. Nivritti is withdrawal, withdrawal from doing. So, one is engaging in, other one is in disengagement from, withdrawal from. Therefore, do's and don'ts, we can say, the language of Yoga Shastra. So there are five do's and five don'ts. Do's and don'ts. Yama and Yama. Yama. Yama is from the Yam Datu. Yam. Yama. Yama consists of Ahimsa. The first one is Ahimsa. Don'ts. Ahimsa. You will have in Nanj all Ahimsa, Asteya, Aparigraha. Ahimsa. Avoiding. Avoiding hurting others. Ahimsa, not doing himsa. Thayena vacha manasa or anything, not doing himsa to any being. Ahimsa, satyam. Satyam is andrata varjanam. Satyam, desisting from speaking andratam. That is satyam. Satyam, vada, the Shastra also says. Then Asteyam, Steya, 
stay is to steal. Astayam means not possessing any form of wealth illegitimately. That is astaya. Means non-stealing. Brahmacharya, resisting from any illegitimate relationship. Brahmacharya, then aparigraha. Avoiding possession of possession of anything, not only wealth, anything more than what one requires. So even uh, our clothes also, our wardrobes need not be need not be complete, need not be full. You know, there's no place to keep. One need not have so much. One can have only as much one requires. Having 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 more than what we require is also a form of stealing. So these are the Samani Dharmas, applicable to whom? Applicable to each and everywhere in the society. By following this, in fact, indirectly one contributes also to the society. These are the five niyam, five yamas, don'ts. And there are five do's. They are called niyama. So yama and niyama. Shaucham. The first one is shaucham. Cleanliness. One has to be clean. At all the levels, physical level, mental level, even that is the verbal level, the words, what we speak, should be clean, should be unadulterated, should not use unparliamentary words. So therefore, that is shaucham. Then, toshaha, santoshaha, happiness. Having some contentment. Not always a discontent. A discontentment will come and, and it will go. But in spite of that, one has to be relatively content, tripti with what one has. Then tapas. Tapas, the self-denial. So some deliberation, some deliberation is involved to so that one doesn't become One doesn't become a yeah, slave to the sense objects, to the sense organs. That is tapas, withdrawal of the sense organs in the form of some certain disciplines. So denying objects for sense organs because Bhagavan has created sense organs. Ranchikani vidrana swayam dohu parang pashyati rantaratpan Sense organs take the person Toward sense object, make him extrovert. Paranchigan. Kani, sense Indriyani. Paranchi eva. So therefore deny them from feedings with sense objects. That is tapas. Tapas abram vijig jnasasva. That tapas is jnana. Jnana vichara. Jnana rupa tapas. That also requires some kind of self-denial. Shavanam. Jnana that requires certain self-denial. So that is tapas. Then swadhyaya, of course. Swadhyaya is, it is a dedicated the study of shastram. Swadhyaya. So, swadhyaya ha, adhyatavya ha. Once, one must study one's uh, Veda. One's shaka of, shaka of one's Veda. So that is swadhyaya. Then Ishvara Pranidhanam, the last one, which is worship of, worship of the Lord. So these are the, the ten disciplines, ten dharma. They are samane dharma. This yama and yama comes under samane dharma. And the thirteenth chapter of the Gita Bhagavan talks about twenty spiritual disciplines, which are required uh, even to lead a sane life. It's not not only required for the the mumukshu who is committed to the study of Upanishads and gain jnana. It is also required for everyone to lead a, a sane life. The 20 spiritual disciplines, Samanya Dharma. The value systems. The, in fact, there Bhagavan, he calls them jnana, all the, the spiritual disciplines, the 20 spiritual disciplines. He calls them as the jnana itself. Even though the, the values, spiritual values, which are the 20 spiritual values which are 
mentioned the 13th chapter of the Gita, they are only the means, but Bhagavan calls them as the end itself. Because when the means are taken care, the end will automatically want to come. Pay attention to the means as to the end, as Tommy Vivekananda says. So therefore, the value system and the attitudinal makeup they make a lot of difference in one's life. Therefore, whether we are mamukshus or not, the practice of values is a must. So, and if you are mamukshu endowed with these values, endowed with the the understanding of these values, samane dharma, the study of the text will will strengthen it further and that prepares us for receiving the knowledge as taught by the shastram to the acharya. So, therefore, the ten samane dharma dharma chas which everyone has to be follow. So, dharma is the dharma as discipline divided into samane dharma, which uh, which is which is made of this yama and yama, and there is another dharma, vishesha dharma. Samani dharmas are universal. The values are universal. But there are some dharmas which are vishesha dharma, which are not universal. They have to be followed by the people in keeping with one's varna and ashrama. They are vishesha dharma. So therefore, Shastra designed the individual life so beautifully that each portion, each, each, uh, <clears throat> each, uh, the, 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 each portion of the Veda, Veda is divided into two parts, so Karma Kanda, Jnana Kanda, the, they contribute to the, the, each ashrama, how it contributes, we will see, see, we saw, we know that we have seen, you know, we already we have seen the Veda divided into Veda Purva and Veda Anta. This is one way of dividing the, the Veda. And there's another way we can, we can divide the Veda. Samhita, Ramana, Aranyaka, Aranya and Aranyaka and Upanishad. This is divide the Shastra into the Veda into four. So therefore, each portion of the Veda contributes to each Ashrama. How? In the Brahmacharya Ashrama, in the, that is the student's lifestyle, student's stage, what does a person do? The person studies Veda. The person supposed to study the Veda. So he has to study Veda for 12 years, staying in the Gurukulam, with the Acharya. So Dvadasha Rasha, he has to stay, like we have seen in, in Chandogya. Story we part we have seen, not the Upanishad, Shweta Ketu, who studies, who study, who studies in the Guru Kulam. After 12 years, he comes back and meets his father. 12 years. So 12 years of study, one mandala. 12 years will bring about a great change. That is why anything which we pursue has to be continued for one mandala, one 12, 12 years. If you study Vedanta under a, 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 an Acharya, you have to stick to that person for, they say, 12 years. 12 years of study. Even when I was studying, when I was interested in learning what the other teachers say, my teacher told me, another teacher, you stick to what Swamiji teaches for 12 years. Don't study the teaching of the other Acharya because they may say something different. And it may cause confusion. In Vedanta itself, there are so many differences of opinions. So, always there will be a fight. About uh, Mula Vidya, Tula Vidya, there are, and Swamiji take um, another class, he shows the demerits of the other, the views of the others, uh, other Acharyas. So within Vedanta itself, there are some difference of opinions. So even though all are the followers of Shankara Acharya only, but still. So therefore, one has to commit to be committed to the study for 12 years. That's the idea, Dvadasha, Dvadasha Varsha. So studying and uh, 
therefore the, as a student we the person studies the person a student studies shastra mimamsa and all the the tools which are required for understanding what the shastra says all the vedanga vyakaranam jyotish chandas everything he studies when he, the study because when, only when the students live one is free therefore one has all the mind and time for study therefore one studies shiksha kalpa vyakaranam chandas uti vedanga and the veda he studies and upanga upaveda also so therefore that person who is committed to study is called a brahmachari brahma is veda chari is charanam vratan charati for what purpose adhyayanartha so for the purpose of study he is committed to vrata that's why it's called brahma it's that by the person is called brahmachari the ashram is called brahmacharya so one has to undergo a lot of vratas disciplines to study veda beginning with uh, the upanayana gayatri upadesha and he should know how to conduct himself in the uh, conduct himself in the, the life in the ashrama so therefore all the all the disciplines he learns how to conduct how to follow how to lead a life also how to be, be a disciplined person in life he all learns so he could with all the knowledge now is ready for what snatva grihi bhavet shastra says snatva snatva means not uh, this is a stanam but different snatva is stanam only snatva grihi bhavet that is after being graduated now shastra says you get into the ashrama grihi bhavet so he gets permission from the acharya an acharya from acharya and from of course from parents and also he gets from acharya because he gives a promise that i will earn and come and repay your debt because he has been the being a student he doesn't he doesn't have money to earn and uh, to pay for his stay in the gurukulam so therefore he has to pay after he starts earning and he starts earning once he enters into grastha ashrama so marries and enters into grastha ashrama it is all the rituals whatever the, the karma kanda karma the karma kanda of the veda whatever whatever what you what he studied he performs it does all those so that is there comes the brahmana brahmana section so in the brahmacharya stage he studies all the the mantra samhita path of the veda commits to memory samhita then the brahmana portion of the veda the brahmana portion of the veda where the the discipline where the the disciplines where the 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 rules of performance of the rituals are given it's a manual manual for the performance of the karma so being rasta now he starts performing karma so therefore he employs all the the details which are the brahmana section therefore brahmana section is for rasta ashrama rastas samhita for the brahmachari samhita portion for the brahmacharya ashrama brahmana portion for the rasta ashrama samhita section consists of mantras mantras for which mantra which are employed in the ritual that the rituals are performed in the grastha ashrama so therefore the samhita and brahmana comes under karma kanda of the veda veda purva so therefore as a grastha ashrama he practices karma yoga he is a spiritual person endowed with the values interested in reaching the goal has got some clear idea has got some not absolutely clear but some he knows he has studied under the acharya the guru for 12 years therefore he knows the purpose of life therefore he practices karma yoga he performs karma he performs his karma with the the with the attitude the yoga it's called yoga therefore karma becomes yoga 
ಸೊ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ಕರ್ಮಾಚೌತಿ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ರಿಚುವಲ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಫಾಲೋ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕರ್ಮಕಾಂಡ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ವೇದ ಈ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಆಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಡ್ಯೂಸಿವ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಸ್ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಸೊ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ಆಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಕರ್ಮಯೋಗ ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ವೈ ಆಟಿಟ್ಯೂಡ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಇ ಫಾಲೋಸ್ ದಿ he follows the the karma the rituals by uh, doing the rituals what happens raga dveshas are neutral that is why raga dvesha can be held handled well in the grihastha ashrama so once the raga dveshas are and as are neutralized so yes certain mastery over them then now he is ready for vanaprastha the next stage of life so vanat prastashma therefore he withdraws from the regular activities from karma so he engages himself in in upasana that comes the upasana kanda of the veda that also comes under karma kanda upasana is manasam karma so therefore in the vanat prastashma he performs the karma but not physically but in the form of meditation therefore it becomes upasana upasana kanda therefore upasana kanda is for vanaprastha upasana also is and comes under karma only veda purva only so a lot of upasanas are the upasana kanda of the veda he performs that it doesn't require any material and also it cannot have material because being the forest vanaprastha so that ashrama is not in vogue now but st- only it's a retirement life it's it's some sort of a retirement life or preparation for this next ashrama sanyasa ashrama that comes in jnana kanda of the veda the vedanta the upanishad the four the samhita the samhita kan samhita portion of the veda and brahmana portion they form the the karma kanda of the veda which is to be followed by brahmachari ಅನುಗ್ರಹಸ್ಥ ಆ ಉಪಾಸನ ಕಾಂಡ ಚೌಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮ್ ತಂಡರ್ ಕರ್ಮ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಕರ್ಮ ಕಾಂಡ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ವಾನ ಪ್ರಸ್ತ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಕಾಂಡ ಫಾರ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ನಾವು ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಮೆಚೂರ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ರೆಡಿ ಫಾರ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಲೂಸಿವ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ದರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇ ಕಮಿಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಜ್ಞಾನ ಕಾಂಡ ದರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಜ್ಞಾನಂ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ವಾಲ್ವ್ ಜ್ಞಾನಮೇವ ಸಾಧನ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ನೋ ಅದರ್ ಸಾಧನ ನೋ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ಸ್ ನೋ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ನೋ ಅಗ್ನಿ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದರ್ ಸನ್ಯಾಸ that uh, that uh, will finally take him give him take him to jnana moksha so therefore now ready for sanyasa ashrama when the mind is ready the knowledge takes place because the person has gone through all the ashrama and gained maturity so therefore the ashrama vyavastha ashrama ashrama vyavastha makes a person the following the the ashrama the vyavastha makes a person a mature person so now he is dedicates himself completely for yanam and therefore for moksha now do we know all those things we have seen in different contexts different upanishads why we discuss because in the sadhana panchakam the first two stages that is in the ashrama vyavastha the first two, two two stages brahmacharya ashrama and grihastha ashrama they are covered in the the first shloka the first shloka covers the two stages the second and third shloka covers the disciplines which one has to follow in the grihastha ashrama and vanaprastha ashrama and in the fourth and fifth shloka a general upadesha is given which provides the entire range of sadhana for the moksha so therefore the whole presentation is based on what is based on vedic scheme of life it is based on the two vyavastha varna vyavastha and ashrama vyavastha so the ashrama vyavastha is what is presented 
in this shloka. And finally, the Upadesha. Upadesha is given general Upadesha, the last shloka. The last shloka, the two shlokas, let's say general instructions. So let us read the first shloka, the meaning of which we will see in the next class. Uh, interesting is you will see the <clears throat> karmani lot, all the karmani, the karmani prayoka. The entire uh, panchakam is in the, in the passive voice. Vedo nitya madhi yatham taduditam dharmasvanushti yatham. Papo kaf paridhu yatam bhavasukhe tosho no sandi yatam. So each shloka you will see eight steps sopana. So the yeah, the first shloka, the first sadharam, the sadharam begins with Brahmacharya Ashrama. The sadhana, the discipline which a brahmachari, the brahmacharya ashrama has to follow. What is that? Vedo nityamadhi adiyatam adiyatam karmani prayoga adi purvaka in datu adhyayane. From that only we get adhyaya, adhyayanam, adhyaya, adhyapaka. So Vedaha. Nityam Adiyatam. Adiyatam is the Kriyapadam. Karmani, not Karmani. Vedaha Nityam. Nityam means always, regularly. Regularly, that is regularly. One must study regularly. Veda. One must chant the, the Veda because Bhimachari, so he is, commits to memory all the, the mantras of the Veda. So therefore, we must recite Veda. Even we can, as Vedanta is told, we can recite the Upanishads. And the Itra Upanishads are chantable, in fact. Then chant and Sukta, Adil, etc. So one must regularly, because of that, uh, for Vedanta, it, it creates good samskara. Memorizing. Gita can be memorized. Upanishads, Mantra, the Upanishad can be memorized. So that is the discipline for us. So here as a, for the student, as a student, what a person has to do, he says, for the one who is in the Brahmacharya Ashrama, first Ashrama, he must recite Veda. Adiyata, recitation, we can take that to be recitation. He must learning from the teacher and repeating. Vedo, Nityamadhiyata, and you can see all the instructions are in passive voice. So Vedaha Adiyatam, as I told, Adipurak Hingdhatu, which is the second conjugation, Lot, third person, and Karmani, therefore singular. May Veda be recited, Vedaha Nityam Adiyatam. Veda being a body of knowledge, the word, uh, the Veda, you know, which is derived from the Dhatu Vidh, Vidh Dhatu, Vidh Jnane, from that we get Veda. So, so, Veda means to know. Vid, vid means to know. Veda means knowledge. So, Veda is a Pramana. Because the means to achieve the goal, when we don't, 
when we don't uh, through other pramanam we cannot we don't have then veda provides a means means for what means for moksha moksha for what are, what is a pramanam no other pramanam can be the pramanam for moksha moksha sadhana means shastra so therefore and veda is the upaya for moksha because pratyaksha anumana etc that will not that, that that cannot give the means can it cannot be the means for gyanam it can be the means for gyana but for not for the gyanam of oneself therefore they cannot be the means for moksha so therefore veda being the pramanam for moksha that that is why we say jignasa atato brahma jignasa brahma enquiry dharma jignasa for veda pur for vedanta is brahma jignasa that is the topic of the veda so therefore dharma jignasa and brahma jignasa being in the in the brahmacharya ashrama now since he is preparing himself for the life therefore he must do dharma jignasa that dharma he learns not just the veda mantra it is dharma jignasa therefore taduditam dharma jignasa therefore dharma meaning karma therefore taduditam karma anushthiyatam he has to he should here mandatorily he must follow the karma which are taduditam veda uditam which are taught by the veda that he has to they follow the karma he has to follow the rituals he has to perform like the sandhya vandana adi karma sandhya vandanam samita danam all the karma he has to meticulously follow karma karma anushtiyatam karma is pratama vyakti ek vachan karma anushtiyatam what karma an adjective is taduditam taduditam karma requires knowledge knowledge by the veda therefore veda uditam karma knowledge gained from the veda dharma karma which he has gained through jignasa dharma jignasa therefore anushtiyatam may he perform he should do we'll continue the other lines in the next class we'll stop here ओम पूर्णमद पूर्णमिद पूर्णा पूर्णमुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमाधा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शाति 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 हरि ओं श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओं धन्यवाद 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 गुरुजी धन्यवाद अक्षरण जी धन्यवाद